Hey guys, welcome back to Limitless Detailing. These little guys here are some of the culprits of today's detail. This Jeep Altitude belongs to a dog walker. In this deep clean, we'll show you guys how we remove the pet hair and extract the seats. Stay tuned to watch this furry baby mobile be brought back to life and the owner's reaction at the end. If you guys like these kind of details, make sure to like, hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications for future updates. The first thing we did was remove the floor mats. The owner of the vehicle had already removed most of the big items out of the car. Once the floor mats had been removed, we decided to begin with the driver's side. This was definitely the side with the least amount of pet hair, therefore it wasn't necessary to use the pet hair removal tool. What we did use was this hard bristle brush to get into those crevices. Because the vehicle's carpet was in great condition with no spills or stains, the seats weren't going to be removed. But because they weren't going to be removed, we had to make sure we got every small space. Every nook and cranny had to be perfect. If you guys are interested in any of the tools and products we used, we will make sure to have them in the description below. After giving it a quick vacuum and using the hard bristle brush to remove some of the harder things, we decided to use the lily brush to remove all that embedded pet hair. You'll see here that even after giving it a couple of passes with the vacuum, the lily brush is able to remove that pet hair embedded in fibers. I know, why didn't we make one big pet hair pile and suck it up with the vacuum? To be honest, we wanted to make small ones, suck them up so they won't fly around every time we tried you know, getting more from the fibers. The back seat was definitely where these fur babies spent most of their time. And here's where you're really gonna see how this lily brush performs.
Now this section here guys was definitely the hardest of the entire vehicle. As you guys can tell, the fibers on the back portion of the vehicle are different from the fibers on the carpet on the floor. This is definitely a small blooper. My brother decided to grab the pet hair with his hand and stick it inside the vacuum cleaner instead of just vacuuming it up. <laughs> Now we sped the back portion about three times its normal speed, so you can see the difference. Make sure to take a look at the color difference after we vacuum so you can see how bad it really was. We made sure that we got every nook and cranny, every hidden spot. We made sure that the seats were pushed all the way to the front, all the way to the back. That includes the front two, the middle section, and opening these compartments in the very, very back.
Once all the carpeted areas were cleaned, we decided to begin vacuuming the seats. Once all the seats were vacuumed up, we used an all-purpose cleaner to lightly clean the leather. The leather seating on this vehicle is actually in very good condition. Most of the time it just had paw marks and probably a little bit of slobber from the fur babies. We then used our drill brush attachment with a little bit of APC on the brush head to clean the cloth parts of these seats. We then used our heated extractor to extract anything that was on the cloth.
Once the seats were all dried up and ready to go, we decided to double team on the plastics. As some of you guys can tell, we would spray the all-purpose cleaner onto the rag or the detail brush in order not to splash everything all around. Now this is one of those little things that really finalizes a detail, removing the old smell. We knew these fur babies spent most of the time in the back of the car. So we made sure we disinfected, cleaned, and UV protected this area as much as we could. Once all the plastics in the vehicle were cleaned and UV protected, we used a drill brush attachment to clean the floor mats. Once this was complete, we pressure washed and dried. And this guys is the final product.
If you guys love this type of content, make sure to follow us on our Instagram page at Limitless Detailing, where we showcase this type of content on a daily basis, things that don't make it on YouTube. You're almost there guys, a bit more and you'll see the owner's reaction. Oh my god, it's a brand new car. Oh wow. Oh, is he, are these two seats? <laughs> I love it. Oh my, can I sit Yo. in it? Yeah, of course. What do you guys think? It Amazing. looks like you actually like just bought us new seats, dude. Holy sh**. It doesn't smell like dogs. I'm so happy. I haven't seen the seats like this in so long. Should we sell the car now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god. This is the funny part. And the car so soft. Holy hell. This is not my car. Oh my god. That thing works so good. Holy shit. Look at this. Even over here is gone. We're this looking at the weirdest places. No, because those are the ones that have the most like uh like things. Like you know. Look, the black and black mess now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Clean. That looks great. I'm so happy.